All right, welcome back to Do These Daggers. You might notice a little bit of a different look here. That's because I'm at a new desk. I upgraded my old desk, man. And um, I can actually mount the phone kind of further up now so I can kind of zoom out a bit. Not sure if I'll leave it like that. I might come back in. But uh, anyways, welcome back. We got an unboxing that I'm excited about. Let's open it up. Gonna use the Rosecraft kayak. Let's get on in here. Oh, I hate this stuff. God damn it. It's everywhere. You can't just cut into it. You gotta like find the top, but even then. God damn it. God damn it. Surge. Hell yeah. So, this is another slip joint. The slip five. This here is the slip seven. My first experience with the Surge slip joint and it is absolutely fantastic. It is so good. Um, the walk and talk is probably the best I've ever felt on a slip joint, period. The finish is incredible. This uh, kind of acid wash. It's ground really thin. It has a really good sharpening choil. There's just nothing bad about it. And you can put a clip on it. It comes with one. I took mine off recently, but uh, yeah, it's really, really good. So when he just came out recently with uh, the Slip 5, I had to get it. It's a different style. And um, let's see if I'm going to like it as much. Here it is. Pop it out. Huh, okay. Now the first thing I thought when I saw this was it's gonna be hard to pull out. The nail nick is way back here toward the pivot and you cannot grab it. So let's see how that is here. Huh, okay. Much weaker pull. And I see why he did that because you have to be able to get the blade out. It would rip off your fingernail. Look at how pointy that blade is, holy crap. That is a thin tip. I mean, not so thin that it's, I would be worried about breaking it, but I would definitely not put any sort of like prying motion on that tip. That is a very fine tip. That's going to be pretty sweet for detail work though, man. Same, very good sharpening choil. M390 blade steel. This is number 65. I don't think, was this one numbered? Yeah, 125. I didn't read, I didn't uh, see that before. So let's put them side by side. Yeah, this, the new one's a little shorter, barely. Kind of a thinner profiled handle as well. Same excellent finish, just plain instead of uh, anodized blue. Thickness, eh, this one looks a little wider. And also they did, he did a regular flush back spring instead of this, how he did this one where it kind of went in. This is very interesting. I've never seen a slip joint like that, where the back spring kind of goes in like that. I don't know if that's contributing to the incredible walk and talk we have here, but whatever it is, it's great. So yeah, this is much, much of a lighter pull, but it's still snappy. He still managed to get it snappy. That is awesome, man. It really is the, it feels like the exact same action, just not as much tension on the back spring. Like whatever's going on in the pivot, uh, you know, the, the back spring interacting with the ting feels like it's exactly the same. Like it's, there's a very defined jump to the half stop and a very nice slap closed. I mean, that's pretty much the, the, the best that you could ask for on this style of knife. If it was strong, you would absolutely, it would not be fun to open. It just wouldn't. So... That's actually pretty sweet, man. I'm pretty happy with that. Very thin behind the edge, as is this one. This, this is a great cutter. Really, really great cutter. Um, in fact, we can measure behind the edge on both of these just to show it off. Let's go with this one first. 
Yeah, 11,000. And up here, it's like 12,000. Very nice. Let's check this one. This one feels even thinner, but maybe not. 13. 13. So it's just, yeah, it's about the same. We're a little thicker, actually. Um, but man, look at that tip. God damn. I can't wait to cut with this thing. I'm going to do a cut test for sure. Is the blade stock, the thickness, the same? Yes, it is exactly the same. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this clip off right meow. I don't know why I said right meow. That was gross. I'm going to keep this in a slip. You know, it is kind of nice to have the pocket clip as an option, though. Like, if I wanted to carry a slip joint, um, but I wanted to not carry a slip, like maybe I wanted to clip it in my uh, my waistband or something, you just you just pop it on. It's kind of cool. Uh, I think I'm going to... Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, I caught it. Thank God. Um, I'm going to fill in the holes with the screws. I think that'll look a little better. Almost hits the blade, but it doesn't quite. Okay, we're good. There we go. Yeah, that feels a little, a little better. I'll have to make a nice slip for this guy. Yeah, I like it, man. It's a, it's, a, it's a pretty unique shape. Um, I, I wouldn't even really call this any kind of specific pattern, really. It's kind of its own deal. Um, this is kind of like a, a very lightweight, super detail work knife, you know. You can get your finger right up to the tip and really kind of... Oh, I'm, oh, damn it, I'm holding it off camera. I'm still getting used to the setup, sorry. Uh, you know, pinch grip, you're really way up close to that tip. Just like uh, putting pressure down into a cut. Yeah. Cool. This was 150 bucks, um, which I think is pretty reasonable. Um, you know, his his drops are very limited. It seems. Um, there was a few versions of this one, the slip seven. Um, but his previous slip joints, I don't know if there was multiple runs. There might have been multiple runs of this one, just because it was very popular. Um, not sure if he'll do more runs of this or not. Maybe it'll depend on the popularity. But yeah, this is cool. I'm glad I have another one. I, I'm pretty sure, unless there's one I really don't like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy every slip joint he comes out with from here on out. You know what I mean? I just think it would be cool to have all the Surge slip joints. And I'm not going to be able to get the ones that were older, probably. But it just sounds uh, kind of cool, kind of a collect them all. And there's not like a shit ton, so you can, you can collect them all. And they're not too expensive, you know? That really is, I mean, even though it's so weak, that's a nice pop. Listen to that. Yeah, man. I didn't feel the edge yet. Pretty good. Yeah, it's not like insane sharp, but it's good. Right on. That's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Like the video. I'll see you next time.